Tom for PC Gamer here at the AMD booth in PAX South with Omar from AMD. Omar, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So we're going to talk about some VR and more the technical side of VR and that sort of stuff. So one of the first things I want to jump into is VR's come a really long way since we first saw it. Like if you look back to the DK1, like how, like what's changed since then? A lot. Where do I start? <laughs> so the DK1 um, was actually uh, one of my, uh, I had a university project that I did around. Um, and I remember the DK1, it was a great start for VR. Um, the challenge with it was it didn't give the performance or the visual uh, clarity that gives you a full immersion. Um, it was a great headset to start us all on the road to VR, but it didn't really have the proper resolution. It didn't really have the uh, low latency that you would want to feel immersed in a VR application. And now here we are today at the AMD booth showing the CV1, which is, you know, a lot, a much higher resolution, a much lower latency, that's a higher refresh rate. It's a much, much better, a much more immersive experience. I mean, it's just crazy to me to think back so many years, We everyone was talking about how great the DK1 was, how it was this revolution, and now, nowadays, it's, it's almost talked about as if it's garbage compared to the CV1. So, where do you think VR's going? How, you know, is it gonna be that same reaction to the CV1 in two years down the line? I think it's uh, VR is a very young thing. It's still it's an infancy, if you, uh, if you shall say. Um, I think in a couple of years we will see even more uh, advancements to the existing headsets, like the CV1, like the HTC Vive. Um, the DK1 was a great start, and you have to start somewhere. This is how all great things happen, right? You have to start somewhere. You have to set a standard, and then you improve and you make it better and better and better. So in a few years, I think we'll see even better headsets with higher refresh rates, much lower latency, and we'll see uh, much better resolution too. So on that note then, to the people that are sort of skeptical of buying in early, what do you think some of the either benefits or risks of being an early adopter of VR is? I think um, there's not so much risks in early, in early adopting VR because if you look at it, um, VR as an ecosystem isn't really available to the public right now. It's more or so has been a developer concept, even starting with the DK1, that's, that's the name, Developer Kit 1, Developer yeah. Kit 2 from Oculus, and now the CV1. So I think you know, the, there is not much, not much risk, and that's because today, on 2016, when you're going to buy a VR headset, all the hard work has been done. All the things that made VR, you know, uh, a not so maybe not so great experience in the beginning, back in the DK1 days, now it's at that stage where we can say we're ready, we can deliver, um, and that's just because we, you know, the de that developer ecosystem has been built. You have hardware vendors that are, you know, like AMD with their graphics solution, doing their best to make sure that you are enjoying a smooth experience, uh, lower latency. And so, from a, a graphic side of it, I feel like. VR has kind of almost reset the bar a little bit because it is so intensive to, to display on these high resolution, high refresh rate screens. How do you feel like graphics are going to evolve in VR games over the next few years? Absolutely. So graphics today, as you know, in PC gaming, um, it's you're right. It's been more of reaching an apex. You know, you do 2K gaming, 1080p gaming, and then you do 4K. You increase image quality, increase settings to hit that sweet spot, 60 FPS. Um, in VR, it's not just about reaching a certain performance and making sure you reach it and things look pretty. You actually have to maintain a consistent uh, frame rate and you have to make sure that the frame times are low to make sure that you have a good stutter-free experience. And to do that, you have to be consistent. So I think VR is not just going to push the, the uh, performance and delivering fast frames. You actually will have to deliver consistent reliable frames every time to make sure that there's not much of a, not much variance between the frame displayed before and the frame displayed after to make sure that it's a smooth experience for you. And do you think that this is going to be a year where everyone says, wow, VR is incredible? Or, or do you think it's still a little early now that this is just the very first consumer versions of these products? I think it, we're ready. Absolutely. I think 2016 will be the year for VR. And that's you see that. You see it everywhere. You see that OEMs like HP, Dell, Asus are coming out with PCs that are VR ready. You see that headset manufacturers like HTC Vive and Oculus uh, are releasing their CV1s. Um, and you see hardware vendors like AMD um, coming out with graphic solutions to enable that experience. So it's not just one person, you know, it's not like the DK1 where Oculus was the first one to say, hey, let's do this, uh, you know, ecosystem, VR ecosystem. Now you have the whole, uh, you have, you know, partners behind you, you have OEMs behind you, you have developers behind you. There's so many applications that are boosting. And Oculus is, you know, I, last I heard, Oculus is, uh, is promising to deliver about 100 apps 
by the end of the year. So it's not just Oculus, not just HTC. It's the whole ecosystem that's ready. So I, I take it you're excited for VR then? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for talking with us about VR. I'm excited for it as well. And be sure to stay tuned at PCGamer.com for more from PAX Out.